Hi everyone, and welcome to the channel. In this video, we'll be testing to see if apple cider vinegar makes a good rooting hormone. Here I have a tomato plant which I am taking cuttings from, and I'm going to race these cuttings with and without the apple cider vinegar to see if it has any effect on root growth. To get these cuttings ready for propagation, I'm removing the lower level leaves as well as any flower sites that may be beginning to develop. Flowering takes a lot of energy and I don't want these plants to be distracted from rooting. I've sorted these plants into pairs based on their size. One plant from each pair will receive the apple cider vinegar treatment and the other plant will be propagated in plain water acting as a control. I've got two jars of tap water here. I've done absolutely nothing to prepare this water. It's regular tap water. And I'm using these pipe cleaners to help suspend my plants where just the bottom of the stem is submerged in the water. Lastly, we need to add our apple cider vinegar to one of these reservoirs. The internet says to use about a tablespoon of the apple cider vinegar for one liter of water. I'll be using 1.5 milliliters of apple cider vinegar, adding it to my reservoir, which has about 500 milliliters of water. We rejoin these plants on day seven as they've rooted and we'll look to compare our results. Here on the left, we have our control plants. You can see that all three of those stems have roots coming from them, whereas none of our plants that were treated with the apple cider vinegar have any signs of rooting. This was a clean sweep in favor of the control and the apple cider vinegar seems to be harming these plants. Looking further at my apple cider vinegar product, I realized that it had expired in 2018. I wanted to be sure the expired vinegar wasn't throwing off my results, so I went to the store and bought some more apple cider vinegar. I took new cuttings from my tomato plant and set up this experiment again. We've got three stems which will be in tap water and three stems which will be treated with the new apple cider vinegar. Once again, I'm adding 1.5 milliliters to my reservoir, which has about 500 milliliters of tap water inside of it. As with our first trial, these plants took seven days to root. Here we have our controls on the left and our treated plants on the right. Our first control has rooted nicely and you can see that this second control looks similar. Control number three does show signs of some small roots, but it is falling a bit behind. As for the plants with the vinegar, this stem here has zero signs of root growth. Nothing seems to be coming out of this plant and it is at least two days behind our controls. Our second treated stem does have tiny signs of rooting here but this is far less than any of our controls. Our third treated plant did the best. This stem has a number of small roots beginning to emerge from it. That said, our best treated plant is similar to our worst control. At this point, I think we can clearly say that expired or not, apple cider vinegar is not helping these plants to root as our controls have consistently outperformed the treated plants. I think the entire concept of apple cider vinegar as a rooting agent is simply lies from the internet. I will not be trying this again and will be sticking to what I know is successful, cinnamon and honey. If you're interested in those products, I've got videos detailing how they can improve rooting right here on the screen now. Thanks as always for watching and happy harvesting.